Slide three here, activity five, you are going to start off by adding a different word style, word art style to each bullet. All right, I'm gonna show you the first one and then you will do the next four. Okay, so pizza on mine, that is my first favorite. I'm gonna select that and then I'm going to go to the format tab and then right here, see, here are your word art styles. Yeah. Feel free to be as creative as you would like. Please excuse me while I yell at my children. Guys, quit. Okay, um, so from here, feel free, like I said, you can choose a predefined one, which those are kind of fun, or you can, I think you can also choose a predefined one and then also go in here and like change up. Um, change up some of your predefined ones. So like maybe I wanna keep it that predefined one, but turn it pink. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, but anyways, feel free. That's how you you are going to choose your different word art styles. So go ahead and do the same thing, but a different word art style to each of your five bullets. Pause me now and do that and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so I have now added the five word arts. You might only have four. I can't remember, you know, if you did four or five, it didn't matter. All right, add a different, okay, now you are going to add a different entrance effect to each of your bullet points. I will show you once again how to do the first one and then you're going to do the next three or four, however many you have. So to do the first one, I'm gonna select my pizza. I'm gonna go up to my animations tab and then remember your entrance effects are all of these green ones. So choose a different one for each um, one of your bullet points. Pause me and do that now. Okay, so after you have added an entrance effect to each one, I just wanna remind you that these numbers here signify that this is the order that your animations will take place. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. All right, step three says, watch your slideshow in presentation mode from the current slide so you can see each of your effects. All right, so you can watch your slideshow um, the individual slide by hitting preview here, but sometimes it's nicer to be able to see it full screen like you would be when you were presenting your slide. So I want you right now to do that, you're gonna to go to slideshow, and then you have two options. You can play it from the beginning, which if you've only got a couple slides, that's not a big deal. Um, but like if you have like 10 slides, you don't wanna to have to play it from the beginning every time if you're just checking one particular slide. So Brady, shh. So in this case, um, I wanted you to see that when you go to the slideshow tab, you can hit play from the current slide. So you don't, because we just want to see how this slide looks. We've already um, got our first slide the way that we want it. So let's just hit play from current slide. Okay, now you can see it in your actual slideshow view. And then you just need to click to go through each of your entrance animations. Okay. So go ahead and do that now. If you need to pause me, go ahead and do that. And when you're done with that, you will hit, I usually just hit the escape key, ESC key to get me out of that slideshow um, preview mode. Okay, so when you come back, we're gonna go ahead and add a different exit effect to each of your bullet points. So we've got them coming in with our entrance effect. And then now we're gonna add exit effects. So this is a little bit complicated, not too bad. But the problem is, so we're gonna, I'll show you how to do the first one and then you'll do the rest. Um, I'm gonna select my first one again. Now the problem is once you've chosen one effect, sorry guys, my son needs me, hang on one sec. All right, so I put in some headphones. I'm hoping to reduce some of the background noise of my kids and my dogs and everything else that's going on at my house while I try to teach you guys from home. Okay, as I was saying, so adding, two animations or even more than two animations onto one thing can be a bit tricky because once you select one here, so we've got our entrance effect, if we just turned around and clicked an exit effect, it would get rid of the entrance effect. So you, it's a little bit of a different of a process when you're adding more than one animation per uh, word or whatever it is you're adding the animation to. So select it and this time instead of choosing from this menu you're going to hit add animation that allows you hitting add animation allows you to add more than one effect so you have to use this scroll bar though reese i need you to turn that down um to scroll down to your exit effects and then go ahead and choose your exit effect 
Okay, so now you can see, like, see how the one, below the one, you can almost see there's a second box. That's showing you that now you've got two animations on that same word. All right, so pause me now and go ahead and add exit effects to each of your words. Now, again, make sure that you don't accidentally get rid of the entrance effects. Each one should have an entrance and an exit when you're done. All right, pause me. All right, so now that you've added all of your um, entrance and exit animations, you should, if you have five bullets like I did, you would have a total of 10. If you only had four bullets, you would have a total of eight. Now, for some reason, I don't know why this first one, they, they are on top of each other. It doesn't matter. Um, that part doesn't matter how they show on the left side there. Okay. Now we are on number five. It says watch your slideshow in presentation mode from the current slide again. So I will show you how to do this again. You're going to go up to slideshow. And we don't need to watch it from the beginning. We just need to watch it from our current slide. So go ahead and watch it from your current slide. Click through everything. All of your entrance effects should go first. And then you should have your exit effects. Okay. And then when you're done, hit your escape key, ESC, and that'll take you back into editing mode. And that is it for this slide.